I downloaded the most simple strange music and then forget it while I'm driving. Yeah, I need to do that. Over the course of about two weeks earlier this year, and you'll notice a goes into the forest, hits the main road where there's a fence, goes back into and soon the same suffering. But that is not what I want to talk so much about. It's what I want to. We have a young male uh, from the same group <coughs> uh, and go through this experience. So this is also a great. Um, position and there are many challenges which actually follows that that you know people hack into internet or hack into the system but you know we've been radio tracking elephants for the last 10 years and we met up with Google Earth who had the perfect platform on which to display the movements of the elephants not just using all their ability to zoom in and out of landscapes but also to animate and watch the movements in re near real time on a screen. Uh, the most important long-term reason for radio tracking is to find out what land elephants need to use and then what are the really vital corridors that link one piece of land they need to another because those corridors are often extremely vulnerable to human development. The movement, knowledge of the movements was very useful for law enforcement, for the anti-poaching people. If they knew where the elephants were going, then they could send out patrols to protect them. So it's two things. It's really, uh, it's really maintaining the elephants' habitat long term and defending them in the short term. Um, with today's launch of Street View, we'll actually be able to see 360-degree uh, panoramic photos, uh, still photos that have been taken uh, as of January this year of the Samburu National Reserve and the wildlife within that. Uh, so from a user point of view, you go into Google Maps, you're now able to click on uh, through, throughout Samburu National Reserve and see that footage of the wildlife as well as the stories behind that wildlife. Uh, immense uh, history and knowledge that Save the Elephants uh, have been putting together for the last 10 years and uh, now see that available online, bring that into classrooms and help promote tourism for Samburu and for Kenya. Thanks to the technology like Google, now we have a, a proper GPS satellite collar that you can, you, know, you can track an elephant, hopefully everything goes well for three years. So this is what we're looking for. These colors have actually given us an amazing amount of data that, you know, which, which range from elephant corridors that connect one safe place to another. It has helped us in terms of security. These colors are able to tell us that this animal is uh, immobile, it's not moving, and we're able to react very quickly to send our, our <clears throat> patrol teams.